up, UFO live chat family? I'd be so happy to see you this morning. Oh my gosh, I miss you guys every single day, every single way. We are up. Oh my goodness, my babies. Good morning, my flock. So cool to hang out with you on the observation deck this weekend. First floor audio in the chat. Ow! Checked his show out a little bit over the weekend. Oliviero and first for audios link is down in the description. He wrote all the all of the music that you hear So go be sure to follow him Oliviero from all the way from Italia Buongiorno Buongiorno um, My vlog Oliviero Andy Gambino man. I haven't seen you in a while. It's good to see you Randall good morning Good morning. I believe podcasts. Yes, dude. Yes. Yes, this is what we're here for. Live long and prosper. This is what we're doing here every single morning, every single day. Good morning. Good morning, Lynn. Good morning, hides in long grass. All right, let's get started. We're going to get started with our reading from the collective. I know why you guys are really here. It's for your reading. Greetings, dysfunctional UFO community. Yes, greetings. (laughs) That is what we are. I got my unidentified as four cup. Be sure to go buy yours. Hey, good morning, Tommy G. Good morning, Nathan. What is up, you guys? Oh, I love you guys. We love you. Yeah, my flock made a cool video. Thank you so much for doing that, my flock. You guys got to go subscribe to my flock. My flock, put your link in the chat um, so that people can go subscribe to your channel. She did two videos. They're really cool about the talk that I did this weekend. Um, about free speech in ufology. So go check that out on her channel. Very cool. Mm. You've been working a lot. I get it, man. I get it. I get it, dude. It's it's good. (sighs) Employment's a good thing. Okay. For me, too. (laughs) That's why I'm like, well, at least, you know, you got a job. (laughs) Ditto. (laughs) Okay. So let's get started. Um, we're calling upon, hey, unidentified S4, hey now, look, Bop. morning. Okay, here we go. I'll put this up a little bit. So we just need to know from our highest good, what do we need to know um, today to get through this crazy day, this crazy life, this crazy, this crazy thing that we're doing every single day. What does that mean? Let's see what we got. What do we got? 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 Bam! Ooh. Ooh. Whew. This is a fierce one. Um, so we're gonna have to definitely get some clarifying cards on this. So we got nothing will come of this situation. Void of course of moon. Um, so, I mean, this might sound like, oh, nothing, this isn't good, but what this is really saying is, you know, nothing, nothing bad may come of this situation, you know, you don't have to worry about what's going to be happening, um, because in this particular situation, uh, nothing's going to come out of it, you know, you don't have to worry about it, you don't have to invest your cares or any thoughts into it, because you'll be fine. Let's get a star seed oracle. Okay, so we might do three clarifying cards because it always depends on how I feel with the collective. The collective's calling me to do one more card, my loves. My loves, my UFO live chat family. Love you guys. There's my flux. Good morning, Patricia. I got your email. Just got to go through them. Um, I always try to get get better. And then there's uh, Sarah's channel. What's up, Rick? The Unknown. Good morning, dude. Okay. So we're just getting a clarifying card on nothing will come of the situation. We need a clarifying card for this for sure. Portal. fan freaking tastic So doors are opening. You decide. Rewards. Wild card. So, although nothing may come of this situation, it is opening up a portal into your life. And this is one of those things to think about. As the portal opens, you need to maybe let go of this energy to move into the portal. 
you always got to say no to something in order to say yes to something else. So that's what I got. That's my hippie dippy reading for you all this morning. I'm so happy to see you all filtering in. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Oh, there's so many people here so early in the morning. Maybe we could actually reach the goal. The goal number. All right, so let's just get started here. Crank her up. Crank her up. I'm sorry if your ears hurt. I'm sorry, we're we're getting started. Okay, some people left, so I'll turn it down just a bit. But it's the intro. You guys know what I mean. The intro. Good morning, UFO. It is Monday, April 25th, 2022, and this is your 24-hour recap of space, alien technology, UAP, UFO news, and we are going to have a good time today, this morning. But before we get started, I want to give a big shout out to some people in the chat, including Cassie from Oracles and Beyond. So good to see you. Blue Chicken, we're always happy to see you in the chat. Longtime friend with the UFO live chat family. My blog is everywhere is here. We've got the unknown in the chat, and also we've got our new friend from Italia, Oliviero. Yes, yes, and if you are from wherever you're from, let us know in the chat. We want to know every corner of the world that we're talking about these aliens in another beautiful day of freaking disclosure, and we've got this going on every single day. And I also wanted to get started and give a big thank you to everybody who sort of supports the channel, everybody in the UFO, VIP, live chat family. We've got some Andy Crowley's in the UK. Our sponsors, Grandmaster UV, good morning. Our sponsors include UFO Man, David Gasling, Cat1137, Surge D, Spooky Morales, and who's in Vegas today. Aaron Desario, Laura Sosa, Kashi Chris, Spaghetti Lee, Justin A. D. Maynard, Babs Williamson, Angel Wings, Tommy G. Hey, Serge. Big support of the channel. Eddie, Rod, Riguez, Dave, Mother, TV, Andy Crowley, who's in the ch 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 chat, Doug Face Boy, Terry Brown, Josh and Artemis, and my mom. There we go. I'm going to turn it down. And we're going to zip into it. We're going to zip into some stuff. All right. So there is some stuff, obviously, going on in UFO Twitter world. Um, I really enjoy finding some of my favorite information on UFO Twitter. And obviously, the basis of this show, I mean, the marketing of this show is highly based on UFO Twitter actually um just because there's so much traffic on ufo twitter i actually think that's where we get the majority of our viewers if not um like a recommendation from another channel because this stuff i really don't think you know i mean it you're packing and moving chris you're here good morning um so i this freaking thing came up dude i don't even know what to think of this so this document was posted by project unity and i was looking at it and i was like what the hell is this what the hell is this i don't even know and i was like we're just gonna go over this with the ufo live chat family so it's this document that was posted by unity project unity um i'm just gonna show a quick photo of it and then i'm gonna kind of talk about what's on it um basically how do I zoom in on this? Come on, Deuterino. So, they posted it, and the name of it, 
that they put on it. This is what the tweet said. I would love to know who sent this letter to the FBI back in 19... Oh, I just lost the Twitter. But here's the image. This was the document that was trending on UFO Twitter today. It's number one. I know you guys can't see it, but I'm going to be reviewing it and looking at it for you. Um... Basically, it's called an introduction of importance. This was in San Diego. Um, they wanted to show the dif distinction to a number of public. The writer. So they talk about this disc. Um, a very serious situation may develop at any times in regard to the flying saucers. If one of those should be attacked, the attacking plane will almost certainly be destroyed. In the public mind, that might create mass near panic and interfunctional suspension. The principal date concerning these craft is now at hand and must be offered, no matter how fantastic and unintelligible it may seem to minds not previously instructed in thinking this type. Um, and if you guys are just joining us, I'm just reading <clears throat> part of the documentation that came out of this document that's currently twin Twitter, currently trending on hashtag UFO Twitter. Um, they are not excarnate Earth people. Oh, fuck. As we use... Okay, wait, what? They, but come from their own world. This is a freaking great document, you guys. They do not come from any planet, as we use this word, but from another planet, which interpretation with our own. And this, this is freaking wild. The bodies of the visitors and the craft also automatically rationalize on entering the vibratory rate of our disc. The discs possess a type of radiant energy or a ray which will easily disintegrate any attacking ship. They re enter the etheric at will and so simply disappear. The region from which they come is not the astral plane but corresponds to the Lokes of Talus. Students of esoteric matters will understand these terms. What? Students of esoteric will understand these terms? Freaking cool. It probably cannot be reached by radio, but maybe by radar. We give information and warning. It can do no more. Unless the discs are withdrawn. Wow, dude. Oh my gosh. That is quite the documento, isn't it? There it is. Um, I guess I gotta really find... Fuck, uh, now I've gotta find that we... Here we go. Here's the link to the tweet so you guys can go check it out yourselves in case you got questions about how you can find this information. There you go. Good morning, Jonathan Davis. Good morning. Um, so that's the document that I saw that was quite interesting for sure. What are you guys talking about? What do we got? I want to make sure. I'm just a bird. Okay. But I mean, it's very interesting. Good morning, Hell's Fire! What is up, Pontificator? Good morning! I guess anybody? Donovan's here. Good morning, girl! Alright, everybody's here. Most people in the community are full of shit. Always happy to see you, friend. So, okay. I liked it. I liked it. I liked the document. That's a good one. I just would really like to be able to find the sauce a bit more but that's fine that's fine um other stuff tweeting mm, some pictures the fight with green street somebody posted like i hate david green street like i hate you know a lot of people just slammed green street and greenwald they literally made a whole freaking thing about how they they were like he's pissed you know oh well who cares <laughs> everyone should get over it let's get back to the news oh dysfunctional ufo live ufo family the live chat's not dysfunctional it is the twitter <laughs> the twitter is dysfunctional the live chat's pretty good for the most part the live chat does a pretty good job um okay so you know, I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't, you know, top heavy, but there's some pretty cool articles that came up. For one, it's actually the Hubble Telescope's 32nd birthday. Can you believe it? 
Mm, that's a cool photo. I'll show you guys that for sure. And this came in SciTech Daily. And it's kind of cool, you know? But I can't wait to get me some more information on that James Webb telescope. I don't know about you guys. I don't know about you guys. Me wanty, Carl. Me wanty the images from this James Webb telescope. But we all know it won't happen. Because they're going to cover the bodies. They're going to hide the documents. They know they're going to find something. And what are we going to do with it? I want it. I want the information, you guys. That's what we do every day here on the show. If you're just joining us, we wake up every day and we ask for them to give us the information. Leonardo da Vinci seems People like to joke and say, oh, Amy, the bodies, the documents, the craft. But in reality, we all know these are the actual things that we're going to be able to need in order to get what the hell it is that we want. Yes, which is the information. Should we be scared of the information? I don't know. Celebrating the Hubble Telescope's 32nd birthday with a stunning galaxy grouping. Ooh, happy birthday. Happy birthday to the Hubble Telescope. You beautiful, beautiful thing. Let's see it. Let's see it. Oh, man, that's cool. That's so cool. We love it. So we live for here. Yeah. We live for the alien pictures. And not just the pictures of the stars, you know, technically for me. That's what I like. I like the pictures of the stars and the galaxies. And like, look at that. That's a beautiful picture. It's just amazing how we take astrophotography. You know what I mean? Oh, that's such a cool, such a cool um, hobby too. I would love to take up astrophotography for sure. Hey, Justin. Good morning, K-Man. Ha, huh, yes. We say we do because we watch Alien Girl. Yes. That's a joke too, you guys. You didn't catch up with me. I'm not exactly, you know, the most serious person. So when I say that, you learned it. Good morning, Youngie and Carl. Or Youngie and Laura. Carl Young. That's why I got confused. Carl Young. Oh, we got Italiano speaking in. We got Down Under. We've got Justin Down Under. Good evening, Australia. Good evening, good evening. Mm -hmm. So it's a good day. It's a good day in the disclosure. I like, and then um, and then we got this little paragraph that they put in there. NASA Helescope 32 with a magnificent view. Yay! If only, which would be very cool, if only they would give us some more information about the James Webb Telescope and we could totally bypass this whole, you know, this whole time frame where they want to hold the data for two years. This is stuff that's going on. You guys, you want to know what's going on in the disclosure process? That's what's going on. NASA's going to hold on to the images from the James Webb Telescope and decide when it's time to release it to the public. There you go. That's where they're at. NASA, never a straight answer. If you're just joining us, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so what else is going on? This was very uh, uh, interesting. I think I'll save the last one for a fluff piece for sure. This isn't the last one though. And if you guys ever feel like I missed something, I am more than happy if you email me, if you let me know on UFO, you know, you can email me um, at aliengirl111channel.com, which is or at gmail.com, which is in the ticker down below. Um, you can also just DM me on Twitter. Any sort of thing, any sort of article that you may enjoy, I would love to hear it. But we can't have an episode of Alien Girl 111 without either one, discussing the Titanic, or two, discussing Elon Musk. It always has to be one or the other. If you watch episodes of You Alien Girl, you would know that at one point we always talk about Titanic, and we or we talk about Elon, one or the other. So, this ain't good. Woke up to this. Oh shit. Every single Tesla on the road has been recalled. Well, fuck. That ain't good. What are you talking about? 
They've had some trouble. Recalls from the brand are very common and pop up regularly, so this isn't something too shocking. But regardless, two new recalls are now in effect. One that affects Model X will require customers to bring their cars to the Tesla service center to for the recall to be completed. The other is a little more Tesla of a situation. Whoa! That's crazy. Crazy. Oh my God. So you guys, I'm really missed your session this weekend. Oh, you guys never have to apologize for missing my shows. I'm just happy when you guys are here. Hey Terry, what's up? Welcome. Welcome. So um whoa. Siri. Siri's eavesdropping on me, dude. No. Siri. Okay. Okay, let's get back to it. Um, yeah, so airbag issues, stuff like that. 7,000 models recall recalled. Anyway, I just thought that was kind of interesting. Here's the link. And, um, you know, there's still a lot of crazy stuff going on. It's insane stuff. Uh, one, we've got these Elizondo interviews that have been going on. I know. I promised I wouldn't talk about Elizondo, but I did. I did. I talked about the great Elizondo. I've just started. I've just started, you know, talking the talk about it. Just doing what it is. Okay. Mm, let's go check out what's going on on the Twitter sphere. Skip the ad. Cool. And we can play the music again. There you guys go. All right. All right. All right. We're back. We're back. Yeah. So, you know, we need the music in the daytime when we're waking up. I need it. It's like, okay, we're waking up. Fuck. We're, we're up. You guys, and I just, I'm so excited. I can't be more grateful for you guys. It's because of you and all the sponsors on the channel and all the people who give super chats. That And my best friend, Akashi Chris, who helped hook it up, you guys, for us to go and to stream at the UFO Disclosure Symposium in Vernal, Utah. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. I'm losing my mind. So many people are going to be there. Let me, and it's not just, it's not just these fames. It's not just these fames. We've got the UFO Disclosure Symposium. Um, who do I know that's coming? I got Jamie from Unidentified S4, who's also in Vegas right now at the, some, some radio station? I can't remember the name of it. Isn't there some other paranormal show? Anyway, I think this small paranormal show, I can't remember the name of it, but I guess they all met in Vegas. So Jamie from that one time I was abducted is going to be there. Um, we also have Akashi Chris is going to be there. We're also going to have Lynn Wallington's going to be there. Carl the Crusher will be there. I heard Chrissy Newton's going to be there. Um, I don't know. It's like every single day. And then now the Cousins Brothers are also going to be uh, doing a premiere there. Oh, Anthony's going too. Anthony, I think Anthony from S4 is going, right? It's just like every day I'm home, but I wish I was there. Are you going to Myrtle? Gonna go to the desert. I feel like it's amping up, you guys. Like, I really, I'm really excited. Like, I feel, I have this feeling like this is, this is, like, this is the conference. <laughs> That's how I feel. Like, this is the conference. Like, we're going to the conference of all conferences of all conferences. But I tend to get a little bit excited. If you guys haven't seen my streams on my past UFO conferences, I recommend you go look at them. This will be a really fun one, though, because I... Because I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know who we're going to meet. I don't know who we're going to go live with. I have no freaking idea. Because already from the back, we got a couple different people that we need to talk to. UAP Steph's going to be there. It's just going to be insane. I don't even know. 
<laughs> no, I don't think the Cousins Brothers are going to be there. But they're showing their movie. They're showing Above Tom's Secret, which we which we uh, we premiered the exclusive clips about like two hours after they did. Because <laughs> in the morning we go, you guys, if you're launching a documentary, do it here. The second you open, man. Good morning, Sabita! Speaking of documentaries that have just come out, yesterday, Savita interviewed uh, Tyler and Chris from Dockside Media and also Sue Walker so that they could go over and discuss the new premiere and the new release of the movie, Conscious Contact, full disclosure. I'm very excited about that. I'm also going to be going on Tyler's show this Wednesday called the Rebelliously Curious Podcast or the Curious Podcast. Very excited about that as well. Their doc is really good. Their doc is really, 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 really good. There needs to be just a little bit more discussion about the 5 d reality. That would be a good thing to do in this land. In this land. Hey! UAP step is in the house! In his house! Don't mind my... Okay, my internet popped back up. Let's just have a dance break. Dance break go to Vernal since everybody's here. Just a quick dance break. I'll turn it back down. Alright, 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 alright. Okay, now you guys know how I feel. When I think Vernal, that's what I think. When you look at me and you're wondering what's going on in my mind, that's what's happening. I'm going to the conference. I'm going to Vernal. I'm going. We're doing this. Okay. I know we have news, right? Yes. Yes, we have news. We have news. We have news. Oh, it's driving. Okay. What else did I come up with? I had, so, you know, Tesla, recall. Um, what was it? The Hubble telescope, telescope had its stuff. Oh my gosh. Indiana. Fudge, man. Okay, so... Indiana had a sighting. You know, it's amazing. People are really willing to just jump on the bandwagon and talk about how something they saw in the sky was not a UFO, right? Uh, it's amazing the articles that you can find about things that are not a UFO. They love it. They love to talk about how, oh, people thought it was space aliens. They don't know space aliens. You know what? They're out there, dude. Okay? They're out there. No need to make fun of us. We know it. Some of us have seen them, but they're always... You can't, you can't stop this magic. So, is WRTV? No, it's not a UFO. Here's what's flying over central Indiana. We know what's flying over central Indiana. I'll give you guys a guess. What do you think it is? I'll show the pictures. And then you can tell me what you think it was. Here you guys go. Let me upload it. I'll give a dollar. One dollar to anybody who can guess what this is. Is this a UFO? It was seen in Indianapolis. You let me know. Come on, guys. We know what that is, don't we? We're not these these newbies to the field. It's not like we just sit around not knowing what these things are. <sighs> but they're willing. They're, they're so excited to talk about it. Let's see in the chat if you guys know what it is. Starlink. Ding, 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 ding. Look how many people got it right in the chat. <laughs> I'll send you a dollar. I'll Venmo it to you. <laughs> um, however, trails that are usually... Uh, I love all the... How many right answers did we get? Let's see. We got a one from Unidentified. One, two from Nathan. Three <laughs> from Andy. Four from Tommy. <laughs> five from Andy Gambino. Okay, okay, okay. I'll, I'll give the dollar. Hey, what's up, Sunrays? What is this convention? Is it online? Hey, Savita, this convention is kind of big and it's blowing the socks off me, man, because I think it is the one that is happening. And you do not want to be like Greer when you get there. You don't want to miss out on this. You don't want to say, I don't know what's going on. I don't know who I am. I might as well give up. <laughs> and here's, here's, here's the... Here's the conference. It's the UFO. We lost a lot of viewers with all the overlays just there. 
Elon. They already know I'm getting silly. The silliness has begun. UFO Disclosure Symposium happened May 27th through 29th. If you do purchase, be sure to purchase in the link down below. Um, I do have an affiliate link down below in the description. Um, kind of cool. It gives me a small percentage of your ticket price just to kind of help help keep this a train a going. You know what I mean. We like keeping this a train a going. We like keeping this train a going. And we're just, it's going to be a really cool, big event. And I am so stoked about it. Um, it, it appears that every time I, I go and I learn more about it, like somebody else is going, like somebody else is tweeting about it, stuff like that. Um, Cause I was like, whoa, third phase is going to show their movie. That's sick. And then Chrissy Newton's going, and then not to mention all these people like uh, Avi Loeb, right? Avi Loeb's gonna be going. They're gonna be releasing some blur footage, uh, be part of the global review of new unseen footage. And then right after, they're gonna be doing a press conference. It's gonna be off the hook, and we're gonna go to Blind Fog Ranch. Yes, Savita in person. Yes, come on down. Come on down. And I'm gonna be getting my my camera out. I'm gonna be setting up my laptop every once in a while and just sitting down and talking to people who are coming to the conference so that we can have the fun talking in the live chat. Um, I don't know. I'm thinking about how am I gonna set up that. I don't know, but I'm figuring it out. Except you're smoking a thousand times more than Elon. That's hysterical. Mm. Uh. Mm. Looks like he's smoking weed there. Looks like he's smoking weed. Maybe he doesn't, though. I just know he was popping a shit ton of pills when the East East SEC was thinking about dethroning him from the CEO of Tesla. I do remember that. In a Time article about how he couldn't fucking keep shit up. But he held his stuff together. Elon smokes space weed from reptilians. You can tell by the way he hit that joint. Now we're... Now we're... Dude, that's what I'm saying. You've got to come. You've got to come. You've got to come. It's going to be... Uh, uh, I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm nervous. I can't stop talking about it. I can't stop getting excited. We're going to be in the desert. I'm going to bring some of my crystales. Bam! <sighs> gonna bring this crystal gonna bring this one gonna bring this one and um yeah we're gonna talk about the aliens in the middle of the desert you should go you should um and yeah and the link is also in the description of this video down below along with links of all sorts of different people and people who help support the show with graphics and all sorts of things that make it better so definitely go check that out for sure what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Yeah, so you guys knew it. You guys called it Starlink, Starlink, Starlink. Yeah, it just is like, what about like the real UFOs? Like some that, um, you know, S4 is finding some. So yeah, here's what their little article. No, it wasn't a UFO. The line of red objects was actually SpaceX Starlink satellites. SpaceX launched the satellites Thursday afternoon. It brings internet, blah, blah, blah. Of course it wasn't a UFO. Yes, bring the crystals. Steph, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this, you guys. I need to wake up a little more. I'm sorry, guys. Just give me a second here. Okay, I'm gonna just drink some coffee. All right, I brought it back down. I brought it back down. I brought it back down. Okay. I knew. Yes! Starlink. You gotta fly out of the blue. Um, okay. So, I'm really excited about the conference. I think everybody should be zipping over there, getting this going. It's getting bigger and bigger and better and better every single day. Yes. Yes. Good stuff. Good stuff indeed. Um, what else? What do we have here? A twittering. Humans are not on the top of the food chain, says Michael Shistom. Somewhere or something else is. I think we have to deal with it at this point. Hmm. Interesting. This is from UAP Media Hub. 
So the post-disclosure world interview really made the rounds on the internet. People were very excited about the UFO Jesus interview with Lou Elizondo that happened this weekend. I didn't watch it, but I did watch some. I did read some of the transcriptions online, including this one. Lou Elizondo confirms Congress has high-definition video of UAP and classified briefings, which is pretty fucking interesting when you think about it. Hey, Mike. Good morning. I'm getting old. I need simulation for chemicals. Hmm. But yeah, you know, I've been trying to keep up with these. Uh, I'm not going to get into the Twitter fights. Oh my gosh, this everybody. Okay, Chase, this was a good Opera one. Browser. Chase. It's time to ditch your default browser and join over Chase found some cool stuff. People who have already done just that. Whether uh, you're on the back, here, let me pull it up. She got a cool UFO information. Speaking of good morning, UFO, which is what we like to do here. We like to talk about the UFOs and the aliens. Sometimes, sometimes we talk about space, but I prefer to talk about them aliens. Yes, dude. Yes. Are you guys all going for three days, Savita? Yeah, I'm going. I'm staying three nights. Yeah. I'm bringing my serious team of ufologists. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I got a serious team of ufologists that I'm bringing. And now it actually, that's usually a joke because I'm referring to, to my family <laughs> that I'm bringing. But now it's like, uh, you know, like Chris you was talking about and some flirt i don't even know she was like i need some equipment to look for the aliens and i was like whoa now we really are a serious group of ufologists who are meeting way out into the desert we got people who you know do regressionists we got people who are connecting via ce5 who are searching scientifically yeah and i just i know i'm gonna get that photo with um I'm gonna get that photo with Avi. I'm gonna have my little girl take a photo with Avi Love. That's what I really want. I want her being like, yay, space. Maybe have, okay, so I'm just a dork, dorking out like cray cray. Um, I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna look into Avi Love's eyes and then the truth will set me free. That's, I think that's what I'm searching for. Yeah, every once in a while I'm like, what am I searching for on this spiritual journey? Which it really is. It's becoming spiritual because um, we're using we're using everything that we you guys give me in the show, we put it back into the show. So we are taking you to the conference for sure, and we are streaming it with what I call peripheral coverage. So if you want to watch the, the talks and everything, you gotta go get the live stream pass. It's only like $75 and you can get that down in the link below in the description. Um, and you guys gotta go check it out. But I'm gonna be doing peripheral coverage. And Oh, you're so sweet, Randall. You sound cute. Well, you know, thanks. You know, flying in Friday. Yeah, road trip live streams with Lynn and the Dave Hurley. Yes. Oh, Ryan Gordon. Him and I have been talking. Ryan Gordon, who interviewed Angela on the um, Truth Seeker Stephen Cambian show. Wow, dude, if that's a debunker. Whew, he has taught me a lot about letting go of the fantasy, my friends. Let go of that fantasy. Let it go. And then it could be like, oh, man, you know, but we got to keep the ufology of trufology. Man, what's up? Oh, my God, my fuck. Thank you so much for the 99 cent super chat. We're using that for gas money. Gas money. Definitely going up them gas moolahs. The gas man. I, 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 it's like a box of Cheerios cost seven fucking bucks now. I went to grocery shopping. I'm like, maybe I'll have some Cheerios. Fuck that. <laughs> seven bucks for a box of Cheerios? What the fuck? They're not that good. And it was like, a, I went to Target. It wasn't like, yeah, 
Well, you know, that's the cool thing about uh, Brian Gordon is he's going to be coming and he takes some really sweet footage. I think he's going down to Skinwalker Ranch. He said we could go with him, maybe. Yeah, seven bucks. I don't even know. I don't even live in Hawaii. I'm not in Alaska. I'm just in New Mexico. I mean, we have a highway like Route 66 comes through here. There's no stocking issue. There's no issue with what's on the shelves. None of that. The weed joke is here. What are those little emojis? Are those like little peoples? Oh, it's a dude going like this. I like it. I I mean, maybe I'm just shopping at the wrong spot, you know, but seven bucks for a box of Cheerios. You know, nah. I'll mail you out some at four dollars a box. I'm just, yeah, I'm not being smart with my shopping. No, I actually think it was raised, though. I've stopped buying meat. Um, I just can't. I mean, not stop buying meat, but, like, if I eat meat, I think about it more. Anyway, that, sorry, I don't mean to talk about that and how the cost of everything's going up. We're here to talk about the UFOs. The UFOs. No, I'm not talking about the UFOs. I'm not talking about the UF. Where'd they go? Where'd the girls go? Nah. Oh, I'm not talking about the UFOs. <laughs> I'm so bad. I'm so bad. Okay, I'm talking about the UFOs here. Chase posted this on April 22nd. Three miles, the report was an extremely bright light that had turned into a string of lights. While passing underneath of the UFO, lights turned off, but he could see something else. And while the spacecraft had a double altitude reference failure system, um, during this and numerous others were reported, this UFO. Other call signs, also numerous. So, you know, they're out there zipping around. You guys know what I mean. I know I'm funny. I love you guys. This is I love you guys. I know I'm funny. I mean, you guys think I'm funny. That's all that matters. <laughs> you guys think I'm funny. Were those girls pregnant? Oh man, yeah, they were. Um, somebody's just making fun of the UFO Twitter girls here. We'll go back. Nah. nah. But if I see a funny meme, I keep it. I keep it. Yeah, so there's a lot be going on all over the intranet. Patricia sent me some more um, UFO footage, and I'll try to get that together. Wait, you guys found who is plotting stuff? Anyway, um, yeah, and then Josh and Artemis, uh, just anyone who cheers. Oh, God, guys, uh, I'm just glad I wake up here with you guys in the morning before I have to go for the rest of the day, the rest of the way. But we are going to Vernal. Yes, we are going on a vacation to Vernal. Utah, and I'm super stoked about it, man. It's like, I need to get out. I need to go in the desert. We're going to... Good morning, cat. We're going to the desert. We're going to the desert in Vernal, Utah. Oh, I have more coffee here, too. <laughs> We're going to start this day in life, this next day of disclosure. We're going to do it. Okay, so I'll do my two-minute recap. I feel like it's kind of... I just was like, eh. Oh, this document was cool, though, right? I think just talking about this document is kind of cool. Hmm. That was probably the coolest thing we looked at today, was that document, for sure. Shh. That whole document could just have a show unto itself. Easy. You know what I mean? Hmm. But, you know, it's weird to me that people don't really... They look at these documents sometimes. And then there's that one... 
that literally said you know that we retrieved craft it's like no matter how many of these documents come out that are associated with people from other planets it just seems to go on deaf ears and that's what this document is you guys not this one this one that's what this document is it says that we know that there are these flying saucers but this one kind of insinuates the danger associated with these flying saucers and how they could potentially really truly hurt us um which is where stuff gets scary whose birthday ah! low pro low pro good morning happy birthday it's low bro's birthday good morning birthday good morning birthday low pro good morning rebellious ufology we're going to be transitioning soon all of us are gonna go watch rebellious ufology here soon happy birthday good morning babs financing funeral i'm not buying i didn't buy it i don't waste money i didn't buy the seven dollar box of cheerios i didn't I didn't. I didn't buy the seven dollar box of Cheerios. You know what I mean? I didn't buy it. But um, yeah, guys, you know, it's going to be fucking kick ass, and I can't stop getting so excited about it. You know? And I just had a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun uh, this weekend doing the disclosure symposium, not the disclosure symposium, but doing the women in ufology talk. That was pretty cool. Yes, yes, go do it. I'm promoting it every single day. And the disclosure, if you want to buy the tickets, down below is the link. And it's a good thing. And every single day when we wake up, we need to remember that we work as a group here on planet Earth to try to make sure that the information gets out. I finally moved my dude to the backyard. I can't believe I didn't take a picture. I'll do that later today. I'll try to take a picture for you guys. I'll take a picture. Live long and prosper. I do my two minute recap. I just don't. I just like. I just, you know, I just. This document is what's taking my brain up. I'm going to repeat some of this, you guys. I'm just going to repeat some of this stuff from this document as it is fascinating to me. Um. Maybe I can take a close-up and show you guys the parts that are amazing to me. It's this part where they list it all out. Maybe I can pull this up. Okay, so I did a zoom in on it. I hope it's, it doesn't come out like super grainy when I put it up, when I pop it here as an overlay. And then you guys are chatting a lot, so I should check. You know, this is an interactive show. So that's something that you guys might watch the show and you're like, well, what's going on? Yeah, it's Low Pro's birthday. Low Pro's birthday. And you know, this is what the show's about, man. It's celebrating each other, celebrating our fun. Yes, 35 today, still feel like a kid. Hell yeah, man. Yes, it's Low Pro's birthday. He's 35 today. Um. Yeah, 35, man. Life, man. It's just about feeling alive. You made it another day on this crazy wild planet. Yeah, congratulations. Okay, so, all right. Everybody's doing good. Um, it's Low Pro's birthday. And that's the thing. This is like a fan channel, which is what I've always tried to go for. Um, yeah, you know, I was talking about shit about Lou Elizondo the other day, but... It's because I don't, I want this to be like, we go to conferences, we have fun. I don't want to take the fun out of ufology. I don't. There's fun to it. So here's what the close up looks like part of the discs carry crews, others are under remote control. This is, this is number one Twitter. This is a uh, trending number one on UFO Twitter right now. Their mission is peaceful. The visitors contemplate settling on the blank. These visitors are human-like, but much larger in size. Whoa, that sounds like me. <laughs> I'm a giant. I think I've been over-exaggerating. You guys are going to meet me in person and I'll be like, she's not a giant. 
I am a giant. Um, but that's weird. That kind of makes you think of like the tall, blonde-haired aliens that they discuss. Except I'm not really blonde. They are not Earth people, but come from their own world. They do not come from any planet, as we use this word, but from an etheric planet. The bodies of the visitors and the craft auto also automatically rationalize the entering of our vibrational rate. I told you guys this was some good shit, right? It is some good stuff. Like crazy. This stuff is crazy. Okay. What do you guys think? Interdimensionals? Yes. Interdimensional beings, my friends. Interdimensional... Amy, am I wrong, or is it nearly 7 in the morning? No, you are correct. In Albuquerque, New Mexico, alien country, we're three hours from Roswell, where it all began. Um, yeah, we're out here in alien country. Oh, with the aliens. And it's 5.51 a.m., so I do wake up at 4 a.m. Albuquerque, New Mexico time to get started on this fantastic show. Yes. Yes, because I love my day to be filled with aliens and, and life and beautiful Amy is our Amazonian queen. Why, thank you. Um, we're going to be reviewing, because Savita's here, we're going to be reviewing my ancestry soon here, my DNA breakdown. One weekend, random stream, not random, maybe schedule. We're going to try to get our starseed expert, Savita, on here. And we're going to figure it out if we're one of these tall aliens. Because I think my DNA might have some ancient alien. We've been analyzing it. Me and Savita texting back and forth, figuring out could it be alien? Are we alien? Am I alien? So she's going to sit down with me sometime here. But I think you guys all know it's like I'm constantly fucking doing something. But I don't give a shit because I'm going to keep doing this because I love you guys and I want to be able to do this every single day. It's the most fun I have throughout the day. Seriously. Look at my new nails. Bye. Oh, sparkles. I didn't think so at first, did you? Okay. <laughs> Just put makeup on your phone. That's funny, dude. That's funny. But let's get back into this. Um, the discs possess a type of radiant energy or a ray, which will easily disintegrate any attacking ship. Oh, shit. Um, they re-enter and are simple. They can disappear from our vision. The region from which they come is not the astral plane, but corresponds to the Lokis and this is where it gets weird. Lokis and the Telsa. Telsa. Students of esoteric manners will understand. Students of esoteric manners. They probably cannot be reached by radio, but maybe by radar. So this was number one trending on UFO Twitter today, no joke. Oh, you should go check, you should go to sleep now. No, 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 I love you, go, go, go. You don't want to get a headache. Low pros, thank you so much for all the birthday wishes. My birthday wish is a beautiful day to you all. Oh my gosh, that's the cutest. Yeah, feel better, Sarah. Feel better. All right. All right, 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 all right. All right. Let's see here. Huh. Oh no, is it really that time? <laughs> talking about UFOs. You can't just kick us off the internet. Because the real question, my beautifuls, is how did you get here? <laughs> We've been wondering. I can't wait to meet you in person. How in the hell of the YouTube algorithm? I'm sorry, I got you. The day's beginning. How in the hell of the YouTube algorithm? Did you manage to find yourself here? <laughs> oh, it's a wild ride, isn't it? Isn't it? Yes, it is. 
seems like there's a UFO every day in this wild world. We don't even know, man. We have no flipping idea. These documents come out. They talk about these aliens. It's just like no one gives a crap. Why not? Why does anybody care? Oh, you guys. Because we are broadcasting here. Live and alive. In the middle of the freaking desert. Yes, we are. In the heart of alien country. And it's, it's all going to come out. The bodies, the documents, the craft. And they're going to say they always knew. And you're going to say, no, man, I knew too. Because I was listening to Alien Girl. One, one, one. Oh my gosh, you guys. You have a freaking beautiful day, Marvin. Thank you so much for coming to the show. Akashi Chris, thank you so much for swinging by. Yes, Unidentified S4. All of the music was by First Floor Audio. Check it out. And I have the link of the First Floor Audio down in the description of this music video. Of this video. <laughs> and I just got only 10 minutes of hey, man. But we'll be going live tomorrow. We'll be going live Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And maybe again on that weekend. Because they might say you're crazy. That you don't make any sense. You don't fit in in this wild world, man. But we know that's not true. Because I love each and every single one of you more than you can possibly know. And I will see you next time. Peace.